Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day to talk about something extremely important to me. Many people in the world of um, so-called spirituality seem to talk a lot about um, the energy of conquering certain challenges and um, those challenges are normally to do with uh, pain and suffering and jealousy and anger of, of many people around them. So in the spiritual world, a lot of people um, become very resentful against other people attacking them all the time. And what I've noticed a lot of these, with these people, they get so angry that their dream, their hope, their goal is to be able to one day look down upon these people and laugh or smile as if to say you know I'm I'm better than you I do better than you and you know there you go I've proven myself this to me has never proven to be um, successful it's never proved to me to be a path of, of of spirituality whatsoever and yet so many practice and preach this way of you know behavior and it's it's almost childlike to me there's no there's no balance in that there's only negative thoughts and feelings and a kind of a desperation to um, better themselves and you know what I say about when you try to better yourself it, there's no there's no end to better there's no final roof that you get to be better it continues better needs more better I need to be better I need to be better that you, you'd never better yourself there's no such thing as because it's a continuation all the time and thus you turn into a, a person who becomes very very challenged with life um, addicted to that very energy and opinionated judgmental and almost as if you're uh, not only for everybody else but for to yourself judging yourself all the time because you're looking at others you're watching them and wondering that what they're thinking about you those people who talked bad about you those people who said bad things about you you know behind your back and 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 holding on to that energy is just dreadful it's just dreadful it's painful to be honest it's really painful I actually don't see any real resolution in that thought process or that way of life. <sighs> Have I been attacked? You wouldn't believe. Have I been hurt? You wouldn't believe. And just like you, I think we all have been attacked and we've all been let down. Moving forward isn't about proving who you are or proving what you believe in or what your path is and uh, your enlightenment and awareness is. That's not what it's about because actually then you're not living your life. You're living it for somebody else because you're trying to prove to them. A way of life isn't about proving anything. You breathe air through your nose. You don't go up to somebody and prove to them that you're breathing. You just breathe. If you know something's true deep down in your heart and you believe in yourself, why do you need to prove to other people that you need to do that? Why do you have to get other people back? You know, they say an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Well, actually looking down on somebody else after you've accomplished something and maybe they haven't, is that really a nice thing to do? Switch it around. Would you like that if they did it to you? To me, it doesn't sit well. It doesn't sit well. And I've had many people come here trying to explain that. They've they've come here because they hated their old teacher and they want to prove to them that, that the pure energy healing technique is better. I said, you've come for the wrong reasons. That is not why you should be here. You're here to embrace a way of life. And that way of life is acceptance. No matter what people say to you and how they feel about you and how they think you've lost your way or you're crazy or you're doing stupid things or they hate you and they call you all sorts shouldn't make any difference 
because if you're true to your path that's all that matters so I am who I am so I ask you if you are doing a job if you're walking a path if you're trying to accomplish goals if you're trying to prove yourself to others I, I ask you why you know, the true path of happiness is just to flow, just to actually be in the presence of happiness and do what you do with happiness. You can't possibly practice that if in the back of your mind, you're thinking of what she did or what he said, and you're gonna to prove to them, that's not happiness. You know, a lot of people wanna reach success by money, by fame. Ask them if they've ever got there. You know somebody who's famous, ask them, is that it? Have you done it? Because once they get there, that's not it. They haven't done it. What they thought was going to give them this happiness and they're gonna feel better now that they've got there and all of those things that were said and done, that everything now has disappeared. No, not at all. We have to start right now the only way you can do that is by being the stronger, by being the lion, being powerful. And saying, actually, those who said what they said, that's not my issue. I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm certainly not buying into that energy. I'm certainly not lowering myself down to that. In fact, I'm going to send them love and healing because I know that what they said is because they're in a bad place. They're in fear, worry. They're very weak. So they attack. Because you know that when you're happy and anybody else is happy, nobody's saying nasty things about each other. They're too busy in their happiness, doing their thing, in their world, enjoying their life. So now I've learned after 16 years when people attack me, I use that as a positive and say, well, they're in a bad place, I need to send them healing. Or if somebody is jealous or angry, I take that as a positive because at least I'm doing something to cause a reaction. Because you know what? If I wasn't saying something that touches people in whatever way, then I'd be more concerned about that, that nobody even says a word. <laughs> so we have to learn how to become more vigilant with how we think and we need to be less aggressive with our thoughts about how we can pull people down by proving to them once we get to the top of our ladder. There was a saying that I once heard, be careful when you start climbing that ladder because you might end up at the top and realize that the ladder is leaning against the wrong building. I would say, let go of the ladder, let go of those hopes and dreams to shatter other people's illusions and to make them feel bad because that is, that is a sure sign that you will be going the wrong path. Let people go, send them away with love. And just remember, by sending them a prayer, even though you feel so bad after what you've just heard, if you can sit down and send them a prayer, send them love and make them happy, you can help them make them happy, you can help them try and make them happy, you can help them a little bit, even if it's a little bit, then guess what? you've saved somebody else because if they stay the same it's not just you they're attacking it's everybody else so that's my message today have a lovely day guys from my heart to yours take care